Hey everyone and welcome to part 3 of the creation kit tutorial. I'm going to show you today how to do nav meshes and how to do your own map markers. So just remember, double right click to activate the file and then click OK. So just give the creation kit a second to load all the assets in and then once that's done we can uh, begin. Okay, so just select the file or the uh, cell that you have currently working on and then double click on it. I'm just trying to look for mine at the minute. There it is. File outside it clean. Double click it. Get into the cell. Okay, once you've got into that, to start nav meshing, what you want to do is hit the nav mesh tool up here. Just click it once, left click, and that will bring you this little window open. If you already have your nav meshes done or there's remaining ones in, and you want to get rid of them, you just right click that and hit delete, but for now I'm just going to delete a few and show you how to do it. So this first room here, I'm just going to remove all this. Okay, so. And then I'll do the bottom of the stairs a little bit too. There's no point in me showing you all me sitting nav meshing this whole thing because you're just going to get bored. Alright, so. To start, to start nav meshing, all you do is hold in control and right click, and then you've put down a little po a little uh, point. I've already have these points down, so I'm going to do the, select all them with control, right click, hit A, and that's going to create a new uh, nav mesh. You can drag the points around to manipulate it a little bit if things are in the way or if it's going through the wall. But now that's automatically selected me those two points still, so I'm just going to control right click down here and then control right click here okay so make sure you have this little point selected here whenever you're doing things like stairs so what I'm going to do is select that point create a new point there and create a new point there and hit A so that's all ready to go then I'm going to select these two points at the bottom of the stairs go up to the top and put a point here and put a point here okay that's that point seems to be uh, floating so I'm going to floor that okay it's went to infinity so kind of control Z that point there we go and try that again Hit A and there we go. Can drag these back a little bit to bring that uh, up above the stairs. It doesn't it doesn't seem to matter too much, but as long as you have them all covered and there's no you can't overlap these or break this at any point. So if I had for instance that there. And I even if I drag that over there, this point will not connect to that point, so the character cannot make it from here to there. So what I'm just going to do is delete these two points and carry that on to here and then here. Okay, so I've brought that into that room there. What I'm going to do is select the corner, select it as close as I can. Didn't really like the placement of that, so I'm just going to control Z that. Okay, so I'm just going to do here, here and here. I'll do the same for over here, 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 and here. And that leaves me with. Oop, this little box here. Here. Okay, what I've done there was I had another one selected over there, which uh, you cannot have. You can only have a maximum of three points selected. For nav meshing. So I'm just going to reselect these, unselect that, create a new point in the middle, hit A to connect that, and select that, hit A to connect that, select that, hit A, connect that. Okay, now I'm just going to click off that, pick the furthest corner to there, and then select that, hit A. Okay, now I've made a mistake because if I do this, this will not connect to this. 
So what I have to do now is connect that with here. Hit A, connect those three, hit A, new point here, hit A, new point here, hit A. And now that's all one solid nav mesh, so that will work. Okay, so done that. Just gonna select these two points, holding control, put it in the corner, and there you go. Very easy to do little corners like this. All you have to do is I'll bring that back a little bit, put it more in there. All you do is hit the corners and let's just say there. And then another one there, and that's you nav meshed. Okay. Now, to test your nav mesh, make sure you have all no breaks in it. Make sure it's 100% going to work. What you do is select this tool up here. This is the test tool. Then you're going to choose an actor. Let's just say you have to choose a proper NPC. So I'm going to choose Elder Maxing because I know that's an NPC. And then what you do is right click one point and then right click another point. As, and as you can see, that's green all the way and that's showing you the path. So my nav mesh works. And then just select a couple of random points to make sure it's all working. Select the door. Yep. Green, so that works. Yep. Pick the little corner here. Little corner there to upstairs. Oh, I've selected in the wall there. Let's just double test that. Yep. And then we'll test up that to there. Halfway in the stairs. Okay, so my nav mesh is working. So what I can do now is click off that and hit save. Okay, I'm not going to hit that because I've already done the nav mesh. So what I'm going to do is go outside and show you now how to do the map marker. So I'm just loading the exterior cell. Okay, so you won't have this location. This is a little project I'm working on, which uh, will progress with the upcoming uh, upcoming episodes. So what I'm going to do now is, you won't have this as a map marker here, but what we're going to do is spawn a new one in, say, over here. What we do is we do this, hit in the filter, map marker, and then select all at the bottom. And there we go, map marker right here. What we can do is drag that in there, double click it, hit edit base, do not change the ID, but you can change the name. But then what you can do is click okay for that. Then go to, let's just find the window it's hiding from me. Marker data, hit marker data, name, do not, do not use location name. Put your name in, say poop, whatever that is. Pick your little uh, whatever, whatever little icon you want on the mini map and the local map. Select say radio tower. Do not hit any of these three, and hit OK, and that will mean that map marker. Whenever you go in within this radius here, as long as you enter that radius, you're going to discover that map marker, and you can fast travel to the point where the M is pointing. So say I'll, you'll face that way whenever you TP in. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you this in action to double check, or to show you the uh, the map marker and the previews that it works. Okay, so I'm just gonna exit out of the creation kit. I'm not gonna save anything, but if you're doing your files, make sure you A, run this as an administrator to stop any problems and hit save after every time. Every little change, do not try and save uh, too often because sometimes that can lead you saving mistakes that you can't get rid of, but just try and uh, watch what you're doing and save carefully. But anyway, let's get into the game. Okay, so let's just teleport to uh, Spectacle Island, if I can remember where it is. Yep, there it is there. Okay, so... Oh, Nicky Snakey. Did place it over here somewhere. Just can't remember where quite a bit of like. Oh, 
Oh, as you can see in the little uh, thing there, there's a, a discoverable location up ahead. So what we want to see is location discovered. There you go, 50 XP. Just need to fix that door. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching episode 3. If you like this, please leave a like. If you didn't, don't. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. In the next episode, we're going to be looking at lighting and train manipulation. At the end of the series, I am going to be releasing this as a mod. We are going to work on it throughout the series from start to finish. And I'd, rally, I'd like for some people to put their input in some recommendations what you'd like to see in the mod. Thanks everybody for watching again, and I'll see you next time.